subjects like cognitive psychology, neuropsychology interest me more. Very luckily, it came across this. I wasn't even aware that this course was being offered in India. Internship for Cactus, which is being offered by the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics in Tübingen, Germany. This is a new campus, uh, the IIT Ranagar campus. So the facilities are very good. For the first two semesters, we need to do a PE. So like for that, we can pick different sports that we want to do. Hey guys, this is Siddharth and you're watching College Companion, where we talk about lesson on colleges, courses and career options. Recently, we have been talking a lot more about cognitive science because that is one course that I am pursuing. And uh, there are many places in India that offer such programs. And one of them is IIT Gandhinagar. And guess what? Today, we are lucky to have a special guest with us from IIT Gandhinagar. We have Ramya Varier with us, who is pursuing her master's degree in cognitive science from IIT Gandhinagar. Hi, Ramya. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. So, Ramya, you have a bachelor's background in psychology, I think. Uh, how was yeah. that experience? And now you are in your second year, right, of master's in cognitive yeah. science at Gandhinagar. So, how yeah. was your experience in psychology? Uh -huh. Well, it's been great. Um, so I knew that I wanted to pursue psychology right um, after my 12th, so which is why I went uh, for my bachelor's degree in psychology. And uh, through the courses that I took during that time, I knew that this is what interested me. So I had a great experience doing my bachelor's um, in psychology. And even within that, uh, I knew that uh, subjects like cognitive psychology, neuropsychology interest me more. Uh, as compared to the more uh, psychopathology and uh, counseling side of things. So I knew that I wanted to pursue something that is different uh, from what uh, a conventional path would be after a bachelor's in psychology. So I wanted something that would offer me more, which is when I came across cognitive science. So I knew that this would help me expand my boundaries and like do more uh, with my degree. So yeah, and it's the experience has been good so far. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And did you research more about cognitive science in India, like what colleges are there? And then how did you decide that IIT Gandhinagar could be a good fit? Right. So um, I came across uh, this course at IIT Gandhinagar very randomly on like some Google search I was doing. So I was very luckily came across this. I wasn't even aware that this course was being offered in India. So after I found that, I did look at other um, institutes that were offering the course. Uh, uh, in the country and uh, I finally decided to apply to IIT Gandhinagar because uh, of their course structure and uh, because of the faculty mostly because my research interests aligned with uh, quite a few of the faculty members over here so I knew that I'd be able to do some uh, good work with them uh, if I were to come here so yeah that's how I finally decided that I'll apply to IIT Gandhinagar. Yeah that makes sense and mm -hmm. if you if you talk a bit about like there was an entrance exam, there was an interview. So what is it like and how did you sort of, if you did prepare for it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, I did prepare uh, <laughs> for it kind of. So uh, the entrance test is a comprehension based test because this is an interdisciplinary field and uh, students from any background can apply or uh, they want the test to be fair. So the test is comprehension based. So there isn't really a syllabus or something that you can study from. So I, I just did what they suggested on their website. I just practiced some comprehension passages, like starting from really easy ones to like going to slightly difficult ones because it really helps you improve your reading speed and your comprehension speed because you know that uh, speed component is important um, in the entrance test. So yeah, that was the only kind of preparation I did because you couldn't really do much more than that. And uh, yeah, for the uh, interview, once I was selected after the exam, uh, well, I just like, you know, went through my SOP and like, you know, made sure I was aware, like, you know, why I'm doing, like, why I'm applying and uh, all of that, because I had no idea what kind of questions to expect, because the interview has been very different for like, you know, all the students, even my classmates and my seniors and juniors and stuff. So um yeah it's basically just like you know being clear about uh like you know what you want to do like you know with this degree why you want to come here and also having a strong base in your uh bachelor's degree because they really question you about that so yeah so there's an sop component as well so while you apply you have to uh write like why you want to pursue this career and yeah yeah the sop is uh, an important part of your application they use that to shortlist applicants for the test and the interview okay okay 
and yeah. what's the pattern so it's like an mcq based paper when it comes to the written test yeah so there are like five or seven passages and okay. each passage is followed by like five questions and yeah mcqs you need to uh, yeah okay. use the so, answer a lot of uh, a lot of people write me on linkedin uh, about uh, these test, test patterns and they ask that see i have sadat i have a psychology background so uh, is it okay for me because because a lot of math might be involved a lot of uh, programming might be involved in the entrance exam so mm -hmm. is there anything like that in entrance exam or that just comes during the degree uh yeah so for the entrance exam here for iit gandhagar the course here there is no math or, or anything yeah. like that involved it's just comprehension based so it's just the passages so it's just to gauge your understanding of scientific text and like you know how well you can comprehend it and how fast you can comprehend it and like answer questions related to that uh those specific skills, skills in like programming or like math all of that will come like during the course and you can build up uh, on a lot of those skills so those will come in handy like during the course you know when you decide of what kind of work you want to do and like with whom you want to do so yeah i think that comes in later yeah and uh, and talking about the stipend component i checked their website during my time as well when i was applying for courses and i think they also mentioned a stipend component so can you tell us a bit more about it yes so our batch was given uh, the offer for a stipend so we get paid uh, 5000 every month and uh, this is for our ta duties which is like teaching assistantship so we are assigned to different courses or different uh, uh, bodies of the school like you know either like the institution advancement office or the alumni relations office or like you become the TA for a course where you assist the professor in designing the course and like taking care of the course and all of that so like that is the work we do and we get a stipend for that every month however it was discontinued after our batch so oh, our yeah, uh, yeah our, our current juniors do not have it and I don't know if they will reintroduce yeah. it again for the next batch but yeah it was there till our batch okay and and what are the subjects like if you can talk briefly about uh, various components of it like what subjects are there are there program elective open electives and uh, mm. uh, information as such right so they offer a number of core papers and electives uh, that you can pick from so the core papers definitely are compulsory so there are six core papers which you have to take there is uh, computation and cognition or uh, experimental techniques uh, research methods, cognitive psychology, uh, fundamentals of neuroscience, and philosophy of mind. Wow. So these are the six core papers which are compulsory for all the Cox S students to take. Uh, other than that, they offer a lot of electives, and you have uh, the freedom to choose electives from cognitive science as well as from outside of cognitive science. So you can take up any electives being offered by any department at the institute. So you can even take engineering electives, design electives. Uh, management electives so you know there's a lot of freedom there you can play around um so yeah and uh, even within electives there are like a lot of specializations you can even request a certain professor to offer a certain kind of paper you know if that is your area of interest um so yeah there is a lot of freedom over there and you can really specialize and besides the electives you can also take up things like iron which is like an independent project or an independent research seminar that you can do with a particular professor so that you might be interested in working with or like you know gaining experience in that uh, field of research so you can do that as well which might be like a semester long project that you work on with them so yeah that uh, there that is there that opportunity as well to gain real research experience Wow, so there are like a lot of options available uh, to yeah. for for anyone uh, whoever wants to get in uh, any subfield of cognitive science, so they can build their right. coursework accordingly. So there is a freedom for yeah. that. Yes. That's amazing. So internship is it a part of your course curriculum? Like credits are assigned to it, or uh, is it something that uh, students can do on their own if they feel like? Right. So the internship is a compulsory part of our course. So everyone has to do uh, an internship and like there are four credits assigned to that. So you need to do like um, two months of internship minimum, uh, which is uh, preferably should be academic or it can be an industrial internship as well, but they prefer an academic uh, internship. So uh, some people do it here on campus itself with some uh, professor. Some people go to other institutes or like other companies or things like that. So yeah, it is a compulsory component and everyone does some work or the other. Uh, how was your experience about uh, the internship and if you could tell us a bit more about it? 
Right. So <clears throat> I applied for this uh, internship called Cactus, which is being offered by the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics in Tübingen, Germany. And uh, I was one of the five interns selected for the program. And uh, I went in uh, during this summer and uh, it was a three month long internship. It was uh, fully funded and I was working under a professor in uh, Peter Dian's lab. And uh, I, I worked on a project of my own uh, under his guidance. And uh, it was a really great experience. Um, it introduced me to a lot of uh, new things because the project was something new. I hadn't done such heavy computational work before. So it was a lot of new experiences. And it was also an opportunity to meet up with a lot of other scientists, you know, make connections and like, you know, get to see what their daily life looks like. And, like, you know, do I want that kind of life or not? Like, do, do I want a scientific career or not? And they also had a lot of uh, soft skill training programs uh, where they taught us things like, you know, how to write an email, how to work on your PhD applications and like, you know, uh, scientific thinking and uh, how to manage your data so they had a lot of uh, soft skill training workshops like that as well as a part of the internship so it was a very well-rounded enriching experience so yeah sounds like a very memorable enriching experience indeed yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. if so so your first year students might also watch this video and would you want to mm -hmm. give them any suggestions on internships like how to apply how to prepare themselves for it right yeah so um definitely um start early um, start looking for such opportunities and like you know if anything comes about do apply like you know um, if you feel like you know you want to gain experience in a certain area of like research that really interests you and like you, know, you see some opportunity come up like that do apply um, one thing you can do is probably contact uh, people if possible who have like done that internship before or something like that if you want to gain some more insight into what it entails to see if you will be a good fit for them and if they will be a good fit for you um, you could also try contacting their contact person if you have any uh, queries but um, it, it can be very daunting because often these internships are quite competitive but I would still suggest that do apply because you don't have anything to lose um, by applying so uh, do reach out uh, and um, many of the internships like you know aren't programs like these like the ones one that I applied for uh, usually students get internships by directly emailing professors and like you know expressing their interests and if they have a position open in their lab then they offer it to you so try doing that as well so yeah you have to be really proactive uh, I'm sure this will be very helpful for them uh, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, last academic question so, mm -hmm. so there are some students who write to me that, you know, in uh, within this two year duration, what if their, their interests change and they want to uh, get a job and work in UI, mm -hmm. UX or any field that is relevant to cognitive science and might work right. well uh, in terms of corporate uh, job as well. So are there such opportunities at IIT Gandhinagar? Um, yeah, sure. So uh, although this course is primarily academically oriented, there is also opportunity in the industry. So it really depends on how you transfer the skills that you learn in this course. So it's really a thing about transferable skills because you wouldn't get, you know, a job in the industry that would be a direct application of cognitive science. Like, you know, as a cognitive scientist, that'll be very rare. So you really need to know how to transfer your skills into an industry uh, position. So, um, yeah, there are definitely opportunities. We do have a placement cell, um, the CDS, which... Uh, looks uh, after the placement opportunities so we, we do have companies coming in for computer science students as well so you can definitely apply to those uh, if industries are calling because academia is not for everyone so like one of my like few of my seniors did uh, get placed as well like very recently through campus placements itself uh, in in mostly like uh, UI UX based uh, positions itself so yeah there is uh, opportunity for that as well it's all up to your interest Thank you so much. Uh, and now talking about uh, some other aspects, for example, mm -hmm. uh, like how are the hostel facilities, mess facilities? So mm -hmm. it, with regards to this, uh, how has, has your experience been? Right. So um, this is a new campus, uh, the IIT Gandhagar campus. So the facilities are very good, uh, you know, especially compared to like, you know, many other colleges that I've been to. So um, the hostel facility is pretty good. Like I'm in my hostel room right now and uh, it's pretty uh, comfortable and uh, clean and the management as well is very nice. Like, you know, um, the best thing about uh, like, you know, the hostel and mess facilities and like management in general is that you are heard. 
so if you have any issues and like you know all you need to do is send an email and you'll get help immediately and your issue will be dealt with uh, immediately so that's a very good thing so yeah uh, the hostel facilities and mess facilities are also pretty good i mean like you do get bored of the mess food after a while i mean that's just <laughs> human but uh, yeah otherwise it's pretty good pretty bearable and they do have a very balanced uh, diet and the uh, menu as well um so yeah it's, it's pretty good can't complain Mm-hmm. And uh, any uh, activities that you have been involved in, co-curricular sports, uh, uh, anything that you see around, people of your batch are involved in. Mm-hmm. Right. So there is plenty of opportunity to do stuff outside your curriculum. Like you, there's so much that you might forget your curriculum. <laughs> so uh, there is plenty of opportunity to be part of uh, sports, of cultural events. You know, numerous clubs. Um, so I'm part of a lot of clubs, like we are the astronomy club, or we are the music club, we are the dance club, um, at the debate club, and uh, we also go for sports. So like, um, as a part of our course, we have um compulsory uh P credits that we need to do. So for at least oh, for two semesters. Oh. So for the first two semesters, we need to do a P. So like for that, we can pick different sports that we want to do. So like, you know, there are, you know, trained coaches who like, you know, train you for sports, even if you're like, you know, very new to that sport. So like, you know, it's really nice. Like I went for badminton, basketball, yoga, squash, and, you know, swimming. So, you know, all those facilities are there. And uh, I've been part of different uh, cultural events, like, you know, as organizers. So we have this uh, national level cultural event called Blithron. So, like, you know, I was part of that. And uh, the various other events happening all the time uh, in sports and culture and science and tech as well. So, yeah, there's plenty of opportunity to branch out and, like, explore. So, yeah. Thank you. That is so mm-hmm. cool. Like you have been involved in so many activities and you have like P related activities that are like imposed yeah. on you as well. I think that yeah, is something yeah, that we yeah. should uh, see nationally happening. Uh, just the last mm-hmm. couple of questions. I'm keeping you mm-hmm. for a long time now, but just last couple of <laughs> questions. So like Ahmedabad, mm-hmm. you are in Ahmedabad. It's like a, diff- mm-hmm. uh, it's like a new, m- might be a new place for you. So uh, do you mm-hmm. get to explore like how has the city been treating you? Right. So, yeah, it, it, it is. Uh, it was my first time here when I came here for the course and uh, it's been nice. Like it's a beautiful city. Uh, so because the campus is located in a village in Gandhinagar, it's quite uh, separated from the main city. So like, you know, if we want anything like, you know, good food or like, you know, we just want to go like, you know, explore, have fun. We have to go to Ahmedabad. So, uh, yeah, we've been there a lot of times and uh, we've seen a lot of, you know, heritage sites and like, you know, been to nice food places and like really uh, hung out. And it's a very uh, beautiful city, very safe city. And um, yeah, it's been uh, really fun uh, seeing a lot of the new places. We are yet to explore a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a nice place. <laughs> That's amazing. And yeah. lastly, lastly, if someone as a bachelor student uh, who's watching this video now, and wants to prepare or get into IIT uh, Gandhi Nagar Cognitive Science Program. What would be your like an advice if you want to uh, give to your like uh, your past self or someone who's watching this video right now? What would it be? Uh, right, my um, only advice would be that, um, like I said, uh, have your motivations clear. Like you know why you want to uh, apply for this course. Like why you why do you want to be a part of this course and where do you see yourself? Uh, going uh, after this like you don't need to have a clear idea of like you know what I want to do in my career no one ever has <laughs> that but uh, at least um, knowing that this is the direction I want to go in and this is why I'm motivated to do that and uh, asking uh, your you know seniors or like students are already a part of the course you know what exactly to expect mm. from it like you know what are the kind of courses and like you know what are the what is the kind of research that the professors at that institute do so that you're not disappointed like you know when you come here okay oh i'm interested in doing this but then that's not being offered here and i don't have an opportunity to do that so so that is so to make sure that that, that doesn't happen uh, make sure you make a very informed decision like you know do your research and yeah i think you should be good uh, thank you so much Ramya. it was like a, a huge pleasure talking to you and and i'm sure uh, whoever is watching this video will now have a somewhat a comprehensive idea of what uh, a cognitive science degree at IIT Gandhinagar possess and uh, how they can uh, be at a better place to apply for this. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for giving us your time, Ramya. You're welcome. <laughs> and we wish you all the very best for what lies ahead.
Thank you.